There you are. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am Patricia, your host, and this is the Silver Crown transitioning back to natural gray. Now, first of all, I want to give a good shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I really would like the channel to be a success. I'm not doing this for money. I'm just doing it for information um, and to learn things and to share what I've learned along this uh, journey of mine. Uh, if you look back to my very first video, you'll find out that I stopped using chemicals, um, any kind of chemicals if I could, like relaxers or um, hair coloring um, back in December. And so I am just a few months into this and uh, it has been a challenge. So I want to talk to you today about um, penetrating oils and uh, things like that. And also you can see that I'm doing a flexi rod uh, attempt yet again. And we'll talk about that in a second. So just hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, so today I want to talk to you a little bit about penetrating oils. Now, I, I, I do want to um, say one thing. There's a video on my channel that is called Can To No Do, and it's, a, it's about the Can To Leave-In Conditioner that I tried to use on my hair, and it made my hair feel very waxy and, and stiff, and it was just really kind of weird the way it made my hair feel. And I washed it out. Okay. So I've done some research and I have found that oftentimes when you put a new product on your hair and your hair doesn't immediately know how to respond to it, it will revolt. So I waited a couple of weeks or maybe three weeks or so and I decided to give it yet another try. This time I uh, was very careful about the temperature of the water. I have found, or I'm learning, that my hair can't take water that's very, very warm. Um, it has to be warm enough to melt any uh, buildup that might be there as I'm washing it. But it can't be so warm that my cuticles are wide open and it cannot hold any moisture. I've also learned that when I rinse, I need to do a cool rinse. I've also learned that when uh, I rinse, it's better that my head is not hanging over a bowl or hanging over the tub. It's better that I'm standing in the shower where my hair is in a straight down position so that it doesn't tangle when it's hanging over in the opposite direction uh, because then I just have to detangle it. But anyway, just some tips for you too. If you find that you detangle your hair with a comb or with your fingers or whatever, and then you hang your head over a bowl and you rinse it or wash it and then it's all tangled again. Well, it's because it's going in the opposite direction that your hair really grows. So it'll cause it to tangle. Just a note about that. Then I want to talk to you about penetrating oils. One of the other problems that I was having was that I was oiling my hair. Uh, I made this mixture um, several, several weeks ago. It's shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, and cinnamon oil that I made myself for my hair. Okay. All of the ingredients in here are fine, but because my hair has trouble retaining moisture, like most people that have hair of, of my type, when I would put these oils in my hair, they penetrate. Olive oil uh, is a penetrating oil. And um, coconut oil penetrates too. As a matter of fact, coconut oil is like a light protein. It'll penetrate the hair and it also bonds to the hair to give the hair strength. So that's good to know. <laughs> However, it doesn't seal the hair, at least not my hair. So what I did was um, I decided to try to add some um, castor oil to this to make it heavier. Castor oil will seal your hair. It's very heavy. Now, some people put it on their hair and they say, I don't like it. It makes my hair feel real heavy. You have to mix it with a lighter oil. So what I did was um, I scooped all this um aside, put a little castor oil, probably maybe two or three tablespoons of castor oil in this and mixed it up and just, you know, put it back in the jar. Um, and then I decided to try my flexi rod thing since I, yesterday was wash day. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out. 
I'll let you guys see it once I take it out, but I'm, I'm, we're getting ready to travel again. As most of you know, we are living in an RV right now, and we're getting ready to travel again and head back to the coast. So welcome to my tiny bathroom, which is where I do most of my recording. And um, so I just wanted to tell you, I feel like I'm all over the map today because I've got a lot going on. But uh, I just wanted to tell you that I did try to can too again. Uh, I had put the castor oil in here and I used that. So I washed and conditioned my hair with Dark and Lovely. It was not the, for the natural hair. I'm trying to use up products that I have already. Uh, and that was okay. Uh, I pre-treated my hair the day before with coconut oil and I slept with that. Uh, and then I um, deep conditioned with the Dark and Lovely conditioner. And then I used the Cantu leave-in on my hair. I still had to detangle it again, but I think that's because I had my head hanging over the, the tub, um, which I will try not to do that again. I just hate getting in and out of the shower two and three times to wash and in condition. Um, so then I sealed it with this that has the, uh, the castor oil in it. So we'll see. It, when I first put it in, I did not like it. I thought, I am sick of Cantu, okay? But in fairness to Cantu, this is not a paid product review, by the way. I don't get paid to tell you about the products. Um, after a, an hour or so, it felt like it kind of melted into my hair. My hair feels very, very soft. Now, I noticed that yesterday. These have been in since yesterday, and I'm not going to take them out until um, tomorrow morning before we get on the road again because I have night sweats. There's a video about that, too. So go back and look at that about black cohosh and stuff like that that can help with night sweats. Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on that. I will, I'll show you what this looks like when I take them out. All right.